One of the best parts about design is being able to figure out each element of it. And one of the most important elements that sometimes I think we forget about is typography um, or fonts or type. Um, so typo typography is, is really a, a very, also a very vast subject matter in which you can study like the history of fonts. A beautiful movie called Helvetica teaches you like the, the history of how Helvetica was even born and how like back in the day they, they used to be different like metal presses for each and every single letter. Now it's a little bit easier. Now you're just trying to decide, okay, well, which font looks good and which font is really going to bring my point across. Um, I've always noticed that a lot of people in the natural industry like to use papyrus, which is a no-no. Um, they use it because it looks earthy, but it's, it's one of those fonts just like Comic Sans or um, any other like, like Times New Roman, like while it's good and and it, it comes on your computer, it's something that you shouldn't use. And, and it's one of those designer no-nos that as soon as I see it, I know that, you, that pretty much you're um, an amateur designer. Um, you want to make sure that you, that you study like the trends of typography. Um, a, a really good site is a Smashing Magazine um, in which they tell you the, the best fonts that are out there. And they usually do it kind of quarterly. Like they tell you the best script fonts, the best free fonts, the best sans serifs and serifs. Um, and those are important to know too. So a serif is a font that usually has like the tail. Um, as you'll see here with the P, um, you can, it, it's not just straight down or with the H, like it has like the little curves and the, and the, and, and the flares in them. Whereas a sans serif doesn't have that. It's more so just, something like this where a font where you don't see like the little tail tails on the T. So it's good to know like you know when you're trying to do a message which font best speaks to to that to that message or which which font best speaks to that character. Um, there's a lot of beautiful sites out there. Typography Served which shows you different like how people are using type in like modern day things. Um, and, and how it and how it looks and and sometimes there are even free downloads. There's a lot of font houses, um, font houses like Font Shop or they have beautiful like fonts. Um, these are fonts that usually you have to pay a lot a lot for, but um, it's still like beautiful fonts that that work well with your design. And then there's free fonts. Um, font Squirrel is 100% free, and you can use um, it with like a web kit so that you can actually see these fonts in your website designs um, and actually be able just to just to kind of see like how how it's going to look or how y you can utilize it. It lets you test drive the font now, um, test drive, and you can see like how it's going to look and how big you would want it. And it also tells you which licenses that you can have. So. Font is something where if you're excited about it, then be excited about it and learn about it and and decide and you can tell like which fonts go well with each other, which fonts give you that feel, which fonts feel more vintage or more modern. Um, typography is definitely like a, a part of design that should never be ignored. <laughs>